We don't wear badges saying, I have COPD. We don't wear t-shirts saying, asthma attack imminent. This, this is, is what, what we look, look like, like normal. normal. Like, like you. you. Breathtaking Lungs has got people involved in singing groups, in artist workshops and in playing the harmonica. And this is all about trying to encourage people to think about their breathing and their body and to connect that with the research that's happening as part of the Manchester Biomedical Research Centre and Clinical Research Facilities. It's like someone sitting on your chest but you feel like breathing through a straw constantly. I think I panic. I panic attacks because I think I'm going to stop breathing. My mind's telling me that I can do actually more than what my body can actually do. It feels like you're trying to straighten this, that crease out to breathe. Mm. But when it's not working, it's not working, mm. then it's not nice. There is only bad things that happen with asthma. Like there's asthma attacks and you get more pains and you just feel pain everywhere. It's quite interesting because being breathless can be a scary experience. And I think a lot of my patients feel that if they get much more breathless, that might be the end of their life. But actually being breathless is not dangerous. So if you have a chronic lung disease, it's essential that you use your muscles. Keep them fit, keep them conditioned. They can do much more work on less oxygen and therefore you'll be less breathless. So I usually tell my patients they must be breathless every day. What he's trying to explain, because of the accident, yeah. his breathing is slower. He is, but I'm loud, he used to be 10 times. We have learnt to stop from time to time to slow to down, down, to slow down, and to sit down. The best thing about today, it was informative, it helped with the breathing, and I really, really enjoyed it. Both the kids absolutely loved playing the harmonica. They had great fun. We've been doing a lot of singing, but before we start the singing, we do a lot of exercises to uh, help us to breathe and control our breathing so that we can sing more than one line at a time. It's helped my stomach and that helped me breathing better, and I love it. I couldn't sing a line through from beginning to end. Now I can sing a line and a half, maybe two lines, which is good. Oh, the experience is great. I mean, I love my singing and, and being involved in the choir with all these lovely people. It's been a joy and a pleasure. It has got me out because I suffer with quite a few illnesses and I can be in for weeks and weeks, but I've made every effort to get to this every week. I was even quite impressed because people who'd never sang before in public were singing. It's brought lots of people from all different walks of life together. It's made people aware of what's going on. The last six weeks has been a new start of life for me. Coming to the event and talking to all the different groups who were involved in respiratory and lung problems, then yeah, it's been absolutely brilliant. Increasing, we involve patients in research, not just as research subjects, but also in making sure that what we're measuring, the questions we ask are the right ones. So my hope for research would be that um, we get rid of asthma and all these other lung condition illnesses. So I think it's the hope of all researchers that if we cannot prevent disease completely, we can help coming up with treatments and things that can make patients feel much, much better, give them the ability to be more like citizens instead of patients. Five, 
on you guys looking through this camera right now. You have to tell all the doctors in the world to make, to at least try and make us better. You have to help us climb the ladder.